Hello everybody and uh, welcome to this little look, it's not so much a review but a look of the uh, latest, well most recent kit I've bought, the Hurricane 2D from Armour Hobby. It's the most recent uh, released kit I've bought and uh, my recent kit. So there we are, this matte dra drawing, diagram, um, illustration. Get my worms right now in a minute as it's uh, making trouble for the Germans underneath, which is always a good idea right, during World War II in the desert. Dear, dear. On the back you see the lovely uh, range of options you got in the kit. Five decal options, which is uh, four more than some kits provide. Um, but you don't want to see the outside of the box, do you? No, we don't want to see the outside of the box. Right. Inside, you've got one piece of uh, one bag. Resealable bag. This will help and this way. In a rattly manner. Right, inside. Put the kit itself to one side a minute. And you've got the goodies in this kit are uh, this clear set of decals, which are on blue backing paper, but nevertheless are very good clear decals. There you see. Right. Keep them clean and ready for use when the time comes. This time, instead of just uh, a template, you've actually got stencils, uh, not stencils, you've got, got the um, te the um, masking set. You can't really see the props on there. But yeah, it's a full die-cast masking set for both versions of the canopy and the wheels and everywhere else that needs to be masked off when you're painting them. Saving lots of hours. I've got two canopies here. I can't remember where to wait. I can only presume that you've got one is wider than the other so you can have it folded backwards or rather slid backwards. You've got two uh, headlights here but as you see from the instructions and the diagrams you paint over them so they're mainly wouldn't waste any time painting the back of those, which I usually do. But uh, got a whole set of various lamps and lights to go on. There's the side spring tip lights there, I think, aren't they? Right, I'll show you the rest of this proof in a minute. Quick look at the instructions, because it's very much similar to the last one. Here's your masking set. Um, instruction, if I need to watch one and what. Now, you've got to cut off parts of the wings here and remove various details but I'll show you in a minute why that's a bit strange it uh, gives you all the clear instructions of what to do where. very similar to the uh, Hurricane 2B as I showed you a few weeks ago or last week or whenever you see this video this clear markings of where parts go because the bonus and special item in this kit are these cannons, underwing cannons Vickers S 40mm gun because they're 3D resin print 3D printed resin parts I'll probably end up building this version by the way there you go, two different See they're showing me there that that's, that's the canopy for when it slid back. Slightly wider. And there's even a part there for the rear view mirror. Which will need tweezers. So here's the usual very similar uh, plastic. Same issues with the uh, that particular propeller. It's got a bit of flash on it. The other ones, uh, not so much. But that's the only flash I can see in the, in the kit except for there but they're not on the parts themselves and uh, it's just as excellent as it was before on the uh, 2B version you got the extra oil filter I think it is uh, intake for the chin for the tropical layers or desert versions of the hurricane so you got that option there but apart from this, the main difference is you don't get a spare wing. 
Because on the Hurricane 2B, if you remember, we used a spare wing. So we're going to cut these off and file these down here. Where, unless there's a wing, the other spare wing is going to fit. And I'll use that instead. So maybe I've already got what I need. Save me gouging bits of plastic out. But the plastic resistance is this item here, which if I can get out of the bag before the battery runs out, is the 3D printed parts. Now, I'm not familiar with 3D, 3D printing. I know what 3D is and I know what printing is, but I've not got a 3D printer and I'm not going to get one either because life's too short and so is my bag balance. I don't have to bring myself into a factory. So anything 3D printed will be bought in special, or part of a kit. If that's ever going to go into focus, you'll see that there now. Is the way they print them, probably like this, isn't it? If you can uh, imagine. Give a bit of an action close-up. It's going to focus. Come on, too close. Right, it doesn't focus that close, this camera. Anyway, little castle is full of different parts which you break off the external frame and it revealed in the inside are the 3D printed parts including little little runners here. Come on, let's see. That's not too bad. There we are. Little runners it looks like here to go <coughs> fill up part bit of time. I just printed together. So you've got both cannons in there, you've got inside cockpit insides. As most insides are inside, aren't they? And for those who are recent subscribers, I play the guitar, so my, my nails are a bit longer than usual for the gentleman. And uh, you've got the cannons and the cannon pods in this little cradle frame here, so uh, they look good quality. Worth the effort of having them 3D printed. Nicely smooth, so there's no uh, no flash on those, that's for sure. Flashless. And I'll put it all in there. Put it all back in there. Little resealable bag here. And they've got it in a little bit of uh, bubble, bubble wrap as well. So they've done every effort to um, to provide it to you unbroken. So that's more or less it, really, in less than eight minutes. The uh, Armour Hobby Hurricane 2D in 172 scale. Alright, bye bye.